Hi, welcome to BioPassionate. In this video, you will learn about the structure and functions of a plant cell. Plant and animal cells are more or less similar, with few exceptions. Plant cells are eukaryotic, which have a true nucleus, where the genetic materials are bounded by a membrane. Along with true nucleus, there are specialized structures called organelles are present. One of the distinct characteristics of a plant cell is the presence of cell wall. A cell wall is a structural layer present just outside the cell membrane. It can be tough, flexible and sometimes rigid. It provides structural support and protection to the cell and acts as a filtering mechanism. A plasma membrane present just below the cell wall which is a thin and semi-permeable that separates the internal components from the outside environment and also protects the cell and its components from the environment. A jelly-like substance present between the plasma membrane and the nucleus is called cytoplasm. Various organelles are suspended in the cytoplasm such as chloroplast, mitochondria, ribosomes, lysosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, and many more. In plant cell, vacuoles are larger in size and smaller in number. It occupies 90% of the total cell volume. It plays an important role in the homeostasis of the plant cell. Vacuoles involved in the storage of amino acids, sugar, and carbon dioxide. Nucleus is an important component of the living cell. It is a double membrane bounded organelle consisting of a spherical shaped nucleolus and thread like structure called chromatin network. These chromatin network or chromosomes carry genes help in inheritance of characters from parents to the offspring. This picture depicts the structure of a nucleus having a nuclear membrane with numerous tiny pores called nuclear pores on their surface. Chloroplasts are colored plastids having a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chloroplasts are characteristic organelles of a plant cell help in photosynthesis. Around the nucleus, you can observe a network of tiny tubular structures scattered in the cytoplasm are called endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum bearing ribosome on their surface is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. In the absence of ribosomes, they appear smooth and are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They help in the synthesis of folding, modification and transport of proteins. Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex are membrane-bound cell organelles present near the endoplasmic reticulum. They help to modify, package, and transport the proteins and lipids. Mitochondrion is an oval, bowed, spherical-shaped, double-membrane-bounded organelle. The main function of mitochondrion is to generate energy for the cell by producing energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate. Hence, the mitochondrion is commonly referred as the power house of the cell. You can see minute particles which are freely suspended in the cytoplasm are called ribosomes. They consist RNA and associated proteins which help to synthesize proteins. Hence, ribosomes are commonly referred as protein factories of the cell. Along with ribosomes, membrane-bound vesicular structure present in the cytoplasm are called lysosomes. They contain almost all types of hydrolytic enzymes, which are capable of digesting carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Lysosomes are also referred as suicide bags of the cell. 